Hello there, everybody. Steffi here from The Makers. It's the 1st of February 2021 and every um, first of the month is always very exciting for us and many of our subscribers because we're giving you a little insight of what this month's subscription box really looks like and what you can be making. And there are, of course, useful tips and tricks on um, some of the techniques that are being used in the different projects. So welcome to all of you. Before we start, give us the thumbs up. Um, that's the little little thumb icon on the left hand side below the screen and um, that helps us um, to get more viewers in the future and uh, it it just gives us a nice feeling as well so go on go on give us a nice feeling be generous today and um, so basically this month we have got um, the makers box the main project is the um, the valley sheep with a little lamb Lambing season is um, already way into um, the full flow. Some some lambs get born really early, um, even even at the back end of a year, and some lam lambs don't get born until it's proper spring. So um, yours could be somewhere in the middle. And then we have got the fairy box is an amethyst uh, fairy, which um, is the birthstone for February. So if this is your birthday this month, happy birthday, first of all, but also great that you've got um, a fairy to make on your birthday as well or maybe you make one for somebody who's got uh, a birthday in February because we often get asked what do you do with these makes when you've uh, when you've made them so why not gift them to somebody who uh, for who that has got a meaning and then the surprise box sorry I keep looking at the wrong side <laughs> surprise box is um pond dipping it's really stuffed up to the brim I can tell you that now I've seen them being packed and um it's there it is really lovely and lush in there so I'm gonna have a look and I might just give a little bit away but it is a surprise box so I don't want to give away too much so I'm just gonna check in who he's, is here today and also I should just say that uh, we've decided to restream this one um, on that we're streaming here live on um, YouTube today we're gonna restream that on Wednesday which is the 3rd of February so in two days time at 7 p.m. Um, so uh, get that. Tell your friends about it. If anybody can't watch right now, you can re-watch this on um, February the third on Facebook at seven p.m. And um, let, let's have a look who's here. Ooh, hi Jude says uh, hello, says Jude. Gina says morning all. Um, Diana Diane says hi Steffi and everyone looks like there are a few new sheep being born well I'll tell you all about sheep because I, um, I've been completely sheeped out this weekend and I'll give you the ins and outs of that too so um, hi Pauline um, Fenny is there um, hey from a snow cold Sweden well Fenny we had snow yesterday too apparently there's more uh, coming but it's kind of uh, disappeared overnight but it was it was pretty heavy yesterday hi Michael Rachel is there hi Rachel don't know if Daniel is watching with you but if not then enjoy the time on your own for a change Gina is there the sun has just come out here nice to see it at last lovely um, and of course Emma is at the other end um, supporting anything that I say and do with links and if you've got any questions you can comment in there as well and she let me know that um, somebody has a burning question so don't be afraid to ask questions this only works on the live stream we, we're not quite as um, advanced technically or magically to uh, make this happen every time somebody watches this uh, video later on Edwina is there and Donna is there good morning Donna Alicia is there uh, morning everyone not working so I can actually join in woohoo nice to see you Alicia Carol is there and um, all these names that I've been saying lots and lots this weekend but I'll tell you more about that soon Meg is there Helen um, and we have got Kim is there hello and um, Faith good morning all these familiar names Erica is there hello Steffi and the makers Karen is there um, hi Steffi, happy February, thank you, right back to you and of course it's um, February is the month where, where Valentine's Day is looming, it's a short month and it's the sort of tipping point where spring is definitely poking its nose into our business if you're in the Western Hemisphere of course and um, I can't wait, I cannot wait, snowdrops are already out so that's really lovely to see um thumbs up it's like a virtual hug oh thank you that's nice um comparison serena is there bridget is there all the way from australia um joe is there and diana is there jane is there sarah is there another diane Anne is there 
and uh, Emma is there and Elspeth. I think I think I've mentioned everybody by name at least once. So um, let's have a look what we are getting this month in our everyone a makers makers box so this is this is the longest established box we are actually at number 44 if you've been there uh, from the beginning then we thank you very much for your support and um uh, every year when it comes around to anniversary and our anniversary i said to emma earlier i'm probably going to think all the words and i'm only going to say half of them because my brain's a bit tired after this weekend but um we always acknowledge the people who have been with us for the whole for the whole haul so you might be one of them and um, I'm just going to go onto the overhead camera so that you can um, see what I'm doing here so this is how the boxes are packed they're usually wrapped in a in a red en envelope always looks always very important when the postman walks down the lane with um, with this red a uh, wrapped up box unless of course you've added to your subscription box which you can do to all of your subscription boxes and then you save the postage and then we usually have to pack it in something bigger but if you just get the makers box then it comes uh, in that shape and it um, it's wrapped in a in a beautiful red envelope and I have heard stories of people literally running towards the postman to snatch it out of his hand in the nicest possible way um, because they cannot simply cannot wait to get there um, their, their hands on the box. We've got a new newsletter every month. We have a new newsletter. We tell you what's happening. We've actually got a whole range of new um, products here, including um, here are three of our five new small kits, um, which which um, they're all um, twenty or less pound or less in pounds. Um, we've got a standing chicken tutorial coming up for March, so now is the time to get your chicken pack. And um, we've got new releases, our uh, McCoggy's family. We've got new pack dolls as well, and then of course. Um, there is always um, a little free tutorial on the back and this one makes a tiny little baby so you could make a seed baby maybe to hold for your fairy or um, because we've got the people uh, live stream tutorials coming up this month you could make a baby for them as well and there's lots of other information on there on what's happening um, this month including the spring festival with the creative craft show on the 20th of February we've got craft for cuts on the 27th of February and then we've got the next Makers Weekend hug coming up mid of March. So um, all our lives are here listed as well. And um, and basically that, that it was an a very elaborate way to tell you about this newsletter. Our boxes are packed beautifully. I see them being packed and it, it is just absolutely lovely. We always have a, um, a box newsletter here. So that um, gives you a little bit more information about the project that you're about to make. And it always tells you what's coming up next in your subscription boxes. So the one here is the Magic Dragon in this beautiful blue green shimmer and um and then we have got in april a puffin and in may three little pigs so this month it makes a small sheep and a, a little lamb to go with it you have get of course discounts if you're a subscriber you can use the um sub club discount code and that gives you 20% off on um, on specific items which I no doubt Emma is going to list in a minute because I have no idea what they are because I've forgotten and so then you've got your step-by-step -step instructions which have got uh, templates on there that um, always help you to aim for the right size they're pictures step by step and um, lots of lots of visual aid but also written word and um, and best start at the beginning not at the back as I did and then you have in your box this month the makings of a sheep and lamb okay perfect there you go that's um, the core wool that you need to make the sheep with. That's the black that makes it the face and the ears and um, the legs. And then you get this extra um, new technique of um, a boucle, curly boucle yarn, which um, I will demonstrate on today to show you how you use this to give um, the sheep these amazing curls. And that is a really, this is a new uh, pro product that we're introducing to use for needle felting. We've been stocking this for quite some time in different colors for doll making, but you're gonna get this this month in your maker's box to make these curly whirly um, curls for the sheep. And you can see here, that's what the finished look is like, giving it that nice big um, head. 
and um and it's got a little tongue sticking out. The tongue is mainly because it's such a black face, so it adds a little bit of cheek to it. You also get some glue in eyes, which um, you can hardly see in its little face, but they are there, there you go. And um, and the, the legs are poseable, so if you do want your sheep to lie down, then you can just tuck them under the body and, um, and make it lying down. Um, the lamb is already lying down because we haven't added any extra, um, any extra legs on that and then in there you get a wire that um, um, you need for the legs your glue in eyes we always have a, a sample in all of your orders and every, every time you get a sample in this month you get a different color of this lovely boucle yarn just to give you a bit of a taster of what you could be making what else you could be making right um, so the sub box uh, um, the sub box oh, what was I gonna say Sub box products, I think they're Emma says they're in here. Oh yes, the um, so if you get you get twenty percent off uh, this month on basic core wool, green wire stems, paper covered wire, plus the fiber and product of the month, which is that um, which is I think the boucle yarn. So that's where you get your twenty percent off. So don't hold back, just spend it while you've got it. Um, also remember all of our subscription boxes have got um, um, have got no contract attached to it so if you subscribe and uh, you um, you change your mind you can unsubscribe anytime and if you if you uh, want to skip a box because you might be busy or you've got um, I don't know you don't fancy the project it's you're allowed to be like that then you can um, then you can skip. Uh, boxes as well so instead of cancelling just skip the boxes now I was going to show you this this is the size that you're basically making plus the little lamb which is this one here um, so these two projects that is what you can make from the makers box this month we've seen some amazing owls last month let's see some amazing valley black nose sheep this month and of course if you don't know but um, this is the um, this is the sheep that Sean the sheep has been based on and um, I have actually seen somebody make a Sean the sheep with this particular um, set of instructions or, or method anyway so what I would like to do is first of all I want to tell you that um, this weekend we have had our makers hug our first ever virtual retreat which we've called our makers hug and um, during the makers hug people were making a large version of this valley sheep which is basically a valley lamb it's it's got more of a lamb shape and a lamb face and um and this is where one of the um Sean the sheep well it was actually Sheila the sheep that was born of course we we can't um um sell it as that we we like just the the sheep as it is but if you want to take a different take on this then you can make your little one into something else that's absolutely fine i just want to show you you're not making the big one from the makers box that was for our for our um weekend hug you can however join us for the next weekend hug which is um in in middle of march that weekend middle in march and i give i show you a little um a little um leaflet in a, in a minute but let's get on with um, showing you some techniques on how to use this boucle yarn on this particular project that is this month's makers box right so um, I have got a naked sheep here so this little little one here is going to look as, as fully closed as that one um, above and there are different ways of how you use the boucle yarn so it comes in a um, in in a very orderly pile if you like and um, what you do is first of all you can uh, wrap first of all you need to wrap the knees of that um, lamb with with a fluffy stuff so this is just to because they have actually got black and white curls but we're just using the um, the white curls so you can wrap the legs the knees or just above uh, just below the knee and you can felt this down very gently into the leg it doesn't need a lot of fastening on because we don't want to flatten it too much we just want it to be like a feature on there so that is one one um of the ways how you're using the um the boucle by just wrapping it around um you do the same with the tail so once you've made the tail you will have just wrapped a little bit of boucle around it and then you attach it to the back of the sheep with a bit of the boucle um just showing there and you just attach the, the tail 
by felting it straight onto its bum, hanging quite low because they have got very long tails. And um, a lot of this will be covered by the top. If you look at that tail, it sort of integrates into the rest of the sheep. So um, we don't, we're not worried too much about how the, the attachment of the tail looks like. And then the first thing you're going to do is you're going to give your sheep a hairdo. And to do this, you take, um, this, is, this is the fun bit where you have to make sure you know where the end of your pile of boucle is. Um, you, you're going to establish the boucle by just felting the end onto here first. And um, it will tell you in the instructions exactly where the where the um, the sort of top hair needs to go, but they have got quite beautiful um, curls hanging into their face. It goes in front of the ear, over the ear, and um, and behind the ear as well. So you can cover all of that area there. And that's basically the way that you do it is by just um, felting it on as you go along. So you're um, just putting the curls into place, felt them down. And um, what we encourage you to do is, is to felt into the stringy bits, in the, into these bits rather than in the loopy bits, because you, you want the stringy bits to disappear and the um, loopy curly bits to stay out. And then you just, um, you can work, speed your work up by just crumpling the um, fiber up. Um, the, the, the yarn up and felting it down until you have the desired head cover and it really makes a change. One, one, a change once you added all the curly bits onto the top of the sheep's head um, it, it really suddenly it looks like it's just been to, um, to the hairdresser and um, it had um, it had a brand new hairdo and you've given it to that. Just imagine um, how many people would love to have a brand new hairdo at the moment and they can't have it. So if you if you are a hairdresser you can let loose on your on your uh, valet sheep and um, if you're in need of a hairdo yourself just give your valet sheep one and um, and then you can have one when all this nonsense is over. So that's basically the method of how you are attaching curls. So you're either wrapping them around or you're randomly, I'm just gonna pull my earth mat over um, to rest it on there so I don't felt onto the table. So um, you're going all the way around the ears underneath and over the ears and um, you're felting this wool on. You should have lots and lots of this boucle yarn. We, we've tried not to be um, stingy with that at all because that would be such a shame if you if you haven't got enough curls. But uh, there is a way of um, portioning it out which we tell you in the instructions. So do follow the instructions but what I'm showing you now is the technique of how to fasten the curls onto the sheep and I would say um, use your medium needle which I'm sure that that's also what we say in the instructions. At least I hope that's what we say. And um, and then you um, you get your curls fastened on really quick. At this point, I should also just say, if you are a brand new subscriber, in your first subscription you get tools. And um, in in the um, in and then in the subsequent boxes you are getting. Um, you are getting um, no tools, so you're using the ones from before. If you can hear a little bit of a background voice, um, my as you can imagine, during lockdown, I have got four children, everybody's at home, and everybody's doing one thing or another on Zoom. So I, um, I might just message my um, daughter, who is right next in this room to me, and tell her to go somewhere else. Um, usually I don't get a very polite answer, but I try my best. Um, teenagers, who ha who'd have them, right? Okay, so there we go. That's how you attach the curls on top of the um, on top of the sheep. And um, if you just give me a moment, I am just literally going to um, to um, give a little message so you can have a look at this here. Um, just bear with me, and I will try. I'm just going to go onto the other camera and sort that out. Um, just bear with me. Okay, um, I'm just telling her you're on YouTube. <laughs> See if that makes a difference. Um, we can hear you. Can you go somewhere else? <laughs> it's easier for her than for me. <laughs> now. Okay, hopefully she'll get that message. Um, but who knows, she might not. Okay. 
Um, right, so the boucle yarn, um, this natural color will be listed soon on our website. At the moment, we're just trying to make sure we've got enough to put all in the makers boxes. As some of you know, we've had um, some delays of supplies. It's not that we're not getting them, it's just that we're getting them later than we um, normally expected due to all kinds of reasons. Um, m most of the words start with B and C, but there was also an S word involved, which was the snow. So we've had everything working against us and the other words I don't even want to say. So there you go. That's uh, basically how you do one part of um, using the boucle. When you get to the body, I need my scissors. Oh yes, they're here. When you get to the body, it's a slightly different technique. And I'll show you that one quickly as well, though I won't be covering the whole of the body. So let's see. Right, so we have got, um, um, for this we are making looped strands. And, um, and to make the loop strands, you sort of uh, measure them out properly if you can, and then you just um, attach these looped strands here at the top of the sheep, like that, and let them hang down. So you're you're felting them along the sheep coming down. You, you would normally cut these um, strands individually and then attach them. And for the, the sh we're not cutting the loops open at the bottom just yet. Definitely use your medium needle. I've just tried to do this with a fine needle and that didn't work. And, um, just um, when you get to, to, when you've covered everything, you're actually cutting, you're trimming the base off. So you've got a nice, neat, um, nice, neat um, edge. And then you're using the trimmed off pieces to cover the little tummy. So you're not going to cut, um, uh, throw these away. And that's basically how the technique works for the um, valley lamb or sheep. Okay, I'm just going to um, go to the big picture here again and uh, whilst I'm talking to you I'm going to get into action and get somebody else to tell her to uh, go to another room so just bear with me whilst I message somebody else um uh let's get my son involved um Okay, sorry, I'm gone si silent. I can't actually talk and write at the same time. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, just um, show you um, the screen, how what you uh, can make with a weekend hug. And I'm just going to tell her in person, just bear with me. Okay, I hope that you didn't hear me shout then. Um, I hope I put it on silent. But this is basically, if you are interested in doing the weekend hug the 13th and 14th of March, then um, drop us an email at um, info at the makers with two S's dot co dot UK. And uh, we have got, we, oh, we don't sell more than 10 Zoom spaces, but you can share a Zoom screen if you are um, in the same household. And... Um, we we so we only have um uh, 10 spaces 10 10 zoom spaces because more on the screen wouldn't wouldn't be very helpful so we can give everybody um make give everybody justice and if you want to make the large valley lamb that's uh, where you need to come and book and i i know there are plenty of uh, retreaters and um huggers that have been with us this weekend here watching live and um if you need a testimonial it has been an absolutely amazing weekend if you think i look tired that is because it was very intense and it was so beautiful trying to yeah it was just amazing and, and if you need to get a feel for what it might be like watching us on Zoom, then on the 10th of February, we are having um, a question and answer session. And if you, um, we will send an invitation out to the Zoom on our Everyone a Maker Facebook group. So um, if, you, if you don't know about this yet, join Everyone a Maker. Um, on the 10th of February, we will have a Zoom link 
posted on there so you can join us at 7 p.m. in the evening um, on Zoom to get a feel for what it's like and ask you questions. And maybe we get we invite a couple of people who've been to the past weekend hug um, so they can tell you directly. And it's not just coming from us, but it's coming directly from the people who have made amazing Valley Lums. Absolutely, I, I am... There's no words that um, I can find in my vocabulary to express what a wonderful, wonderful um, uh, weekend we have had. And it consisted of Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, Sunday, Saturday evening, which was no needle felting, just fun and um, and laughter. And um, and and then on Sunday morning we finished it off, and we finished a little bit late, so we'll probably extend the next one and uh, let it run until half past one, and then we're done. And then you've got a beautiful lamb to take away as well. Right. So let's uh, move on. You've um, got the technique for the valley sheet. This is the one that you are making in the Makers Box February 2021. So have um, have fun making it. Share with us your makes. There's always um, a competition on every one of Makers Facebook page um, for all of our subscription boxes. So come and join. And uh, if you submit your photo and um, and then uh, we we draw a winner. Um, at not right at the end of the month because not everybody gets their boxes um, until the end of the month. So we usually draw a winner mid-month of the following month. So that, that would be March. And um, you might be in for um, a chance to win. And we totally random select those winners. So it's, it's not about... Um, what looks the best or um, the best presentation. It is a complete random, um, a random process how we collect our winners. Right, so let's get on to the fairy box. Um, the fairy box um, always looks like this. It um, it's in a in a thin envelope. It actually gets put into a bright pink uh, postal envelope as well. So you get that through the letter box, um, which is uh, one of the one of the differences between the makers box and the fair box is that this does fit through a letter box. So if you're not at home, then you can still uh, get delivery of this. And um, with the fairy box, there is one other difference in that you can subscribe and then you save yourself um, money every month, but you. You can also buy them as an individual box as long as stock lasts. So if you want to guarantee your box, then subscribe. But if you want to take your chances, then you might be able to just buy them as a one-off box. I know some people have been trying to get all the past boxes and have unfortunately run out of luck. So um, these boxes they need a little bit of help of opening them here at the back. They're usually also really stuffed and full, which is why we need to sellotape them up as well. So um, in the boxes, in the fairy boxes, again, you um, the presentation is really lovely. So if you're ever thinking of giving this as a gift to somebody, you're already you've already won their heart over just by the beautiful presentation that this comes in. You also get your fairy newsletter. Again, usually it's some hits, hints and tips, but also just some um, um, some some um, fun facts. And the fun fact this. This month about the amethyst um, fairy or the amethyst itself is, is that the ancient Greeks believed that the stone protected the wearer from drunkenness and enabled them to keep a balanced mindset. So there you go. If this is what you need this month, um, you've got it in one box. You just got to make it um, into a, a, a beautiful little fairy. And our fairies have been a real hit. So we've only we haven't even done full circle on this yet. Um, it's number 11, so the next one, or in fact, this is our, no, that's right, the next one bill will be our 12th fairy where we've been doing this for one year, but they have really, really taken off these fairies and people, and we love seeing them. Again, you get your um, instructions for anything to do with um, the fairy boxes. You also get, a, a, a if it's your first box, or if you're buying it as a one-off, you get a basic instruction um, that, um, that shows you how to make the fairy um, uh, body and and up to the arms and and um, some yeah up to the head and the arms I haven't got that with me now but you get that in your first box and if you have had your first box and you're getting consequent boxes you need to keep that piece or that in, in uh, instruction sheet safe and then um, ooh, look at this it's already sparkling so what do you get in here this month? Um, you get little accessories. They're often packed up in our glassine bags. We're trying to reduce use of plastic as much as we can. I will just show you what's in there. Sorry about the rustling noise. 
because what you do get in there this month, oh look, there's some beads stuck on this on the label. You get a real little amethyst, and um, it's quite it, it's a little bit dusty. So do um, just maybe dip it into some water. Um, got a bit here. Oh God. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, now I've got to come up with a conversation. <laughs> I said I've got a bit of water here, but it was actually it was a bit of a white lie. I haven't got water here. What I have, however, in my um, maker's mug is tea. And I've just got to get the amethyst crystal out of that again because I dropped it in it. Okay, but... Um, okay, I'm just going to wipe that dry on my trousers. What I was trying to say is um, you can put a bit of shine into it by just um, making it wet. You can use tea. as It clearly works. Okay, I will just still drink that tea. It's just a bit of amethyst dust. And remember, it will keep me um, from being drunk. So that might be a good thing. And then you get all kinds of little accessories to decorate your fairy. You have got your extra strong thread because you need that to tie the, the head at the base. Um, you get a, a silky thread to hang, uh, can't probably even see that, to hang the fairy up if you want to. And um, I'm going to get all of this back in here now again. Um, the beads this time are um, to be used with a, um, a fine needle and some thread so you can sew them onto the hair of the uh, fairy as a decoration. But to be honest, we love seeing your interpretation of all of the fairies. So you might have different ideas um, all together. Um, and this is what the real fairy looks like. So she has got these beautiful beads sewn into her head. She's got a, um, a sequins um, headband. She's holding her real amethyst in her hand. She has got wings made from Angelina fiber again. So this is um, the last time we used this, I believe, was with the um, Forget-Me-Not Fairy. I might be mistaken, but that's what I seem to remember. And then she has got um, a sparkly um, tulle um, waist tie and beautiful, beautiful, um, super soft Australian merino um, wool tops, which are a mixed purpley color. And of course, some lush purple curls as well. So she's a real real little gem, literally a little gem. And what's special about her, and this is what I'm demonstrating on today, is she has got sparkly legs. So I don't know if you can see this. So the Angelina fiber that you use to make the uh, wings, you can also use to mix into your wool. And this is what I'm, I'm going to show you today. And she has the same on the arms as well. So that's basically um, the Amethyst Fairy. So let's just see what's in there. Um, so that's the, the little Angelina fiber um, parcel which we keep away very very well from everything else because just a tiny little fiber will um, will contaminate the rest of the fibers and this one is heat bondable angelina fiber therefore you can iron this into wings and with the fairies we have got so many different uh, tutorials on our um, youtube channel already this is a medium felting needle which um you get in all of your fairy boxes because that's the only needle that you need and there's, there's a little bit of needle felting but not huge amounts. There's your tulle with a sparkly bits on it that gets tied into, um, into a belt and then hangs down at the front. You have got your different color purples here. There's the purple curls. These are hand dyed curls. Absolutely really beautiful and lush. This is your multicolored um, dress or rather it's just the skirt it comes in different um, purple colors um, it, it's I, I think the screen interprets it more blue I've found with even taking photos but it is proper purple uh, proper purple colors I'd say that this is sort of a lilac um, and then you've got three more colors of purple here and if, if it looks um, look I'm wearing purple today as well if it looks uh, blue it is definitely purple and then you've got um, the wool butts here which um, we use to um, dress um, the fairy underneath her top dress so that it adds a little bit of bulk you've got this beautiful dark purple so this is the light purple dark pu uh, purple New Zealand merino and um, and then the white is to make the head and so is this um, uh, darker skin color you there are two different shades we are using so you might get one or the other shade and then we have got um, then we have got the pipe cleaners. So a lot of the fairy um, 
bits that we are that we have got. A lot of them are one-offs, so we don't necessarily put them all in our repertoire. Some of these curls um is they're a one-off. So once you've got them in your fairy box, then we tend not to um to stock them again. But um it's worth checking out. Often what we do is with our makers boxes we keep the contents exclusive for our subscribers or the people who buy the boxes and then um we um we make it available afterwards. So it's worth checking it out or just drop us a line if you need to know um, what, what to do. But I'm just keeping these two things out because that will help me now to show you the next um, little bit of tutorial trick and whatnot. So just close this up again for now. Oh, there's the instructions and the newsletter that can go in there again. And remember the Amethyst is the birthstone of February and some of the fairy boxes we are sort of planning on keeping as a regular in our repertoire and this might very well be one of those. Right, just going to get ready to get um, the things that I need. There's little fairy, you can see her again a little bit closer up. She is, um, yeah, she's a really dainty little thing and um, I, I definitely love her. So we don't have a face on this per se, but you can make a face for her. Um, there, there are, if you go onto our YouTube channel and go onto the uh, playlist and the playlist um, is titled how to uh, videos. So it gives you all the technique um, and, and sort of little snippets of, of, of um, particular technical aspects of making um, our projects. On there you will find how to make the moustache lollipop technique. So that's basically... Um, oh, where's my fairy? <laughs> where's my other? It's, it's on the floor. This is basically um, the, the bit that tells you on, on YouTube, we've already got a technical video for this, how to get to the head, which is using the uh, moustache lollipop technique. We've got a wrapping um, the um, pipe cleaner to make arms and legs. Um, we have got a, um, a particular technical video of how to attach the legs. So you would need that for this one. Not all of our fairies have got legs. Some of them are just long, um, they're hanging ones. And um, how to add faces. So if you want to add a face to this fairy, even though we're not telling you um, how to do this in this particular set of instructions, you can actually work this out yourself and add it in there. How to use the bats and the uh, tops to dress. And remember, all of this is also as an instruction um, in in our uh, fairy boxes and um, and then of course how to make the Angelina fiber wings which also we explained to you in the box but if you want to see it um, uh, on a video form then we have got that on our YouTube channel. Um, how to plait hair which you might prefer to have plaited hair who knows then you can um, uh, look that up as well um, but also how to attach the curls so again it's in the instructions but if you need to see it um, in a video form then we have got that there. So this is all on the playlist how to videos on our YouTube channel and um, if you're not subscribed yet then please go and subscribe tell all your friends about us and so that we get lots and lots and lots of subscribers that's what we want to see and um, I will show you now how to make these um, how to wrap the arms and for this I'm going into onto the overhead camera again so in in your fairy um, box you you get enough pipe cleaners to make the head which is um, this here. And you also get a pipe cleaner, an extra length of pipe cleaner. So you get two lengths of pipe cleaner. So what we um, say is for the, um, you can take the arms of the extra pipe cleaner or of the length pipe cleaner. In any case, the arms are usually 16 to 17 centimeter long. Now these, um, I will just mention, these extra strong pipe cleaners, they are actually, um, we we call them extra strong because they're they're they are they are not floppy, so they're not just flopping down. If there's any, you know, even with a weight on there, that is actually really good for a pipe cleaner to hold all this weight on there. But what they are not, they are not really ones that you can bend back and forth and back and forth all the time. So this is what we we say that we have this disclaimer on our website, but I will mention it again because we're not claiming that these pipe cleaners are unbreakable. They do break, and I show you that um that. If you bend them back and forth loads of times, I mean, I'm sort of doing this five or six times, they do break. So even though we use them for posable um, figures, they're not really meant to be bent back and forth and back and forth all the time. These are not toys. Um, so what you need to do is when you 
make your arms and legs and I'll show you this with the hands now. You obviously wrap the hand part in this beautiful um, um, well, I don't, it's it's almost like sort of a, a milk chocolatey colour, really milky chocolate colour. And uh, remember, you might have a slightly uh, lighter version of this. And uh, you bend the hands in so that you don't have the sharp pipe cleaner. This technique is on our um, YouTube channel, so I'm not showing you this again. But what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to make the next step. So once you've got a set of hands, I'm just getting rid of the pipe uh, of the wool here because I don't need to worry what it looks like from here to there because the rest will be wrapped with that sparkly wool and then I'm um, doing the other side as well just for the sake of it and the, the the legs are done in exactly the same way it's just that you keep the brown part or the um, beige part at the end you keep that a bit longer so have slightly larger feet than hands and again just get rid of the rest of this wool. So all I'm I'm actually interested in is, is that part here, that that is nice and neat, just this little bit here. Um, and then you're going to mix your uh, purple, this is the dark purple I'm using, with Angelina fibre. Now remember you need this for your wings and you also don't need very much of this Angelina fibre at all. Tiny amounts, so even just that much on a bit of purple will be sparkling um, enough and to mix it in you lay it on top of each other the angelina fiber itself does not felt so you do need to mix it into wool and start out like this and then if you feel this is not enough sparkle then you can add a little bit more but um, as soon as you it is definitely sparkling from where I'm standing, but if you wanted to add a little bit more, just do the same again. And this is probably enough um, for a set of arms, maybe even to give you um, a start on your legs. So, um, and what you do is always work in small batches. So I've got a, a nice little sparkly batch here, and I'm going to um, start by establishing this in the pipe cleaner. And then I'm going as far forward to the hand as I want to be visible. Remember, if you're doing the legs, then you have less, um, you have more of the of the um, uh, brown covered um, end of the pipe cleaner. And then you just sometimes it works really well just to to um, turn the whole thing round and twist the pipe cleaner around. Um, the wool that you're holding here, the sparkles, and I, I hope that the camera will do this justice, but it is really, it is really sparkling, lovely here. And for the arms, you're only going um, as far as the centre because you want to keep a little bit um, free here because that gets wrapped around the main pipe cleaner. For the legs, you go the whole length all across, and that um, that's because you actually use the main body pipe cleaner to wrap around the legs, so you don't need to um, keep an area free. And um, I'm just wrapping the other side now. It's best to work in really small portions, get this established. So I'm just not getting that very much established. But once you've got it, then you can um, you can sort of wrap a little bit closer to the pipe cleaner and go a little bit stronger on here. And I show you again, sometimes it works better to turn it the whole thing round and let the pipe cleaner grip into your uh, wool that you're sort of guiding through your fingers and that um, works really well here too. Right, that's basically how you um, make the arms and the legs and um, this is a set of arms with that bit left in the center because it gets it gets wrapped once around the main body and then you push them up there so you've got a set of arms and um, and that is also how you do the legs exactly the same way so follow the instructions and then um, you wrap the main pipe cleaner around the legs but we have got a separate tutorial for this as well so that is basically um, just some uh, good good advice on on the little uh, fairies and every fairy will look different and we absolutely love it when these fairies um, appear on our everyone a maker Facebook group 
and um i i'm always um i'm always hoping that i'm not missing any i i don't always have time to make a huge comment but rest assured that when we see your makes our heart beats a little bit faster and we're just very happy to see them so that is the fairy box uh, for february this month remember um it's the birth stone of february so if this is your birth month or if you have a, a loved one in your family and they can't celebrate right now then maybe this little fairy will make it extra special during these um very weird times we're living in at the moment so um it all leaves now the surprise box and i'm going to have a little a little look at um what people are commenting here just so that i'm left in the loop because i haven't done, done that since the uh, beginning so um oh <laughs> so much talk i'm gonna be here all day um remember give us the thumbs up if there are lots and lots of you watching then i want to see lots and lots of thumbs up so that would be amazing thank you so much um i'm just trying to get to the beginning where i've um been um okay um, or some people are saying long time no see, which uh, mainly is all the weekend huggers who've seen us all weekend, had to look at our faces all weekend on Zoom. Um, but it was absolutely amazing. Um, so we've got a newbie here. Um, Vonnie. Um, Good morning, newbie felter having a crafty watch while I'm at work. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> well, I hope you get inspired. Um, it's super, super fun, needle felting. And if you don't believe it, ask all these fluff addicts that have started and innocently walked into this craft and um, can't stop now. So it is a very satisfying and um, therapeutic craft as well. And, um, oh, apparently I'm in the Northern Hemisphere, not in the Western Hemisphere. Well, I don't know where I am. Thank you, Emma. I can always rely on you to put me right. <laughs> I'm such a heathen. Um, Donna says, it was a fantastic fluffy weekend, made new friends, reacquainted with previous friends, and of course, lambs were born. Absolutely. We had um, a whole of uh, 12 lambs were born, actually. Or was it 13? Oh, 13 lambs, because I was making one as well, of course. Um, Faith says, um, welcome, Vonnie. Don't get caught. <laughs> See, I told you. This is well-meaning advice. Uh, sheepies, the cutest breed out there. Absolutely. Thank you, Alicia. Um, the, so the valley black-nosed sheep are like the highland cattle to cows. So it's the teddy bear version of all sheep, basically. They're absolutely beautiful and you can make your very own. Um, Oh, Erica ordered her amethyst fairy at um at zero zero point zero zero last night. And guess why this is possible? Because Emma actually stays up to change the subscription over um at midnight. I uh, yes, I have all all my admiration is on Emma. So um send her all a massive big virtual hug for that. Um so uh dragons next month, absolutely. Um, what else have we got? Oh, Elspeth says she hasn't plucked up the courage yet to do the barn owl. Well, just do it. It'll be fine, honestly. Um, lots and lots of people have done it. But, of course, if you want to try yourself on something slightly simpler, I will say that the valley um, sheep is probably a little bit easier. So uh, maybe do this first, especially if you're completely new to it. Um, Alicia says those yarn curls are amazing used them on the January fairy and loved it of course I've forgotten the January fairy the love fairy we gave you a little taster of this beautiful auburn coloured um, curly hair of theirs um, love the boucle says Bridget going to have to go ladies oh says Donna well you deserve to go because you've been with us um, all weekend too um, the boucle yarn is amazing says face two the effect is so perfect and Jude says the effect that the boucle yarn gives is really nice. I actually already own some boucle yarn for my crochet and knitting. So I think I might snatch some for my felting too. Absolutely. And we will be using more of this boucle next month when we are, um, no, no, we're already in this, in this next month, this month, February, today is the 1st of February. Um, I have to keep telling myself we will be doing all our live streams are around doll making and, um, in fact, this one has got boucle yarn on her hair as well. So this is where we've pinched the boucle yarn from. It's from the doll making. It is um, yarn for for hair, for dolls. 
that was I just said the same thing just in a different order in case you hadn't noticed that was very um, obvious so yes we will be doing more with the boucle yarn not just on the sheep but also on the little mini me's which I'm hoping you'll be able to do with with me starting tomorrow at 1 p.m that's of course the 2nd of February 2021 at 1 p.m and um Yes, um, yeah, this was my this was my daughter talking in the background. I am gonna have very stern words with her because she's still talking. I can still hear her, but she might have turned her sound down a little bit. This is her own voice. Okay, um, we're still talking about the weekend hug. Um, the weekend was amazing, says Faith. Loved it. Thank you ever so much to Emma and my fellow huggers. Ah, oh, thank you, Faith. It was so nice to have you and your daughter. It was lovely. Um, I love my brush mat. Oh, okay. So we've moved on to brush mats, um, which you don't need for any of these projects. So, um, <laughs> Alicia says, Stephanie, you're cracking me up. I'm cracking myself up. Uh, that's why I never can watch myself again because I just cringe. I know now what my teenage children are suffering every day. I said to my daughter, what did I say to her? this morning she said something I said Romy you're so charming and she said um well I was being sarcastic obviously I said just don't please don't say these things and she said mum just don't say anything <laughs> it's so nice isn't it I'm so loved um okay uh I must admit this fairy box looks even more beautiful than usual when you open it but then my favorite color is purple says Emma and yes we've you've been waiting for a very long time for a purple fairy and I know everybody's waiting for a green fairy and it's coming there is an emerald fairy in the making for May so in fact it's been made but it is um in the boxes are being made um ah oh, Bridget thank you 40 people watching only 18 thumbs up so um, if on a mobile, close the chat to thumbs up. Okay. Oh, okay. So I see if you're watching on a mobile, you have to close the chat to give the thumbs up. Is that, I think that's what she's saying. Thank you, Bridget. That maybe helps us to get a few more. Um, uh, thank you. I thought I hadn't seen them before. They are not tea water, but I wonder what wool they are. Um, so basically, if you're talking about the boucle, it is mohair. So it doesn't even come from a sheep. It comes from a goat. Um, I hope that's what you're talking about because I'm skipping the, the chat now because there's there's like pages and pages and pages. So I'm, I'm going to uh, go to the surprise box now because that is the next um, subscription box that needs to be mentioned. Right. Let's have a look here. Now, the surprise box, I, I saw I, I'm always absolutely dying to show you what's what's in there okay so <clears throat> I'm not I can't show you everything that's in there because it's meant to be a surprise and I think people really love it that it's a surprise and um, you get the same newsletter what I will show you is there is a little sticker on there and it says take a dive into the pond what will you find frogs toads fish insects is the water murky hiding soggy surprises or can you see right to the bottom and I'm going to have a quick look inside that box now without you having a look because I want to know what's inside. And I'm having to tear this oh, beautiful packaging open, which breaks my heart because it's just amazing. And it is, it is oozing with, it's full to the brim as well. I will say that it is oozing with um, the colors, uh, the textures, sorry, I can't even get my words right. So we have got amazing bright colors, um, lots of beautiful soft, ooh, there's something in the bottom as well. Ah, ooh. Okay, this is definitely not suitable for felting what's in the bottom, but it's very suitable for ponds. And um, everything, every layer is beautifully wrapped in tissue paper. And all I'm going to do is my super, super quick. There, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. So um, the surprise box is full of um, surprises, um, which is what it's meant to be. And um, the theme is pond dipping. So who knows? What might you find in a pond? Maybe fish, maybe frogs, maybe other things. So um, 
do check it out um, get your surprise subscription now I will just remind you the same thing applies surprise box is the same as the makers box if you want to skip um, a month then you can definitely do that or two or three and uh, you're not in a contract you can subscribe now and then unsubscribe anytime and um, Best of all is that it's a surprise. Now, it's not a project-based subscription box. So we're not basically, you have no instructions in there that now um, make a pond dipping project, whatever that might mean in, in your view. Um, it is something where your creativity and your um, imagination and all of those exciting, um, I don't know, whatever pops into your head kind of juices um, hopefully will be flowing a plenty. Sometimes you might get stuck. If you get stuck, don't worry, because Alicia, who is watching here, she very kindly runs Zoom um, sessions every month where people come and they're themed according to whichever subscription box. So if she'll have a maker's box and a fairy box and a surprise box Zoom session where you are um, very welcome to join for free and um, and just join other people who might have got no clue what to make or maybe they've got lots of ideas and you can spark off uh, each other and you can um, just just get into the groove maybe one of you's got an amazing idea and you all want to do exactly that so this is what uh, uh, what Alicia is doing uh, very kindly for us and for everybody else and for herself no doubt is to um, tackle these boxes together and give ideas and maybe share some tips and tricks and maybe some of you know something amazing um, that somebody else doesn't know yet so um, this is the place to go and you can get those dates we have I've just been giving the February dates. Um, maybe Emma can share them on YouTube because I did I did send them, I passed them on to her. I don't know if you saw them, Emma, but if you can share the dates on, um, in fact, I can probably retrieve them myself. Just give me a minute and I just have um, a quick look if I can share those dates with you right now. Um, so basically we have got um, on... The 13th, which is a Saturday, Alicia is going to do the surprise box Zoom session and that is at 10 a.m. So go onto our Facebook page and um, and we will we will put those dates out there, but you can certainly get in touch with Alicia. And then on the 14th, which is only the day after, which is Valentine's Day, <clears throat> at 2 p.m., it is um, the Makers Box Zoom um, inspirational session. And then on the 19th of um, February, which is Friday at 3 p.m., there is the Zoom session to make the Amethyst Fairy. So you've got, there's your three dates, the 13th, 14th and 19th <clears throat> at 10 a.m. on the 13th, at 2 p.m. on the 14th and at um, 3 p.m. on um, the 19th. And um, hopefully you can get on there and I know that um, there have been lots and lots of people joining but I think there is talk of a breakout room now so that maybe small subgroups can can uh, get together and uh, work on a project and if you're just there for the social then that's fine too or maybe you just want to see what what these boxes are all about and you haven't got one yet then that's fine too it's a very welcoming uh, group and that's what Alicia has reassured us so I believe her totally right that's the surprise box and that brings us to the end of um today's unboxing I hope it has given you some kind of um, inspiration maybe you need um, maybe you've got a, a mojo blockage can happen maybe you need that's just what you needed just something to um, to get you into the groove and uh, making again or maybe you're just absolutely um, dying to make a, a, a cute cute cuddly valley sheep it's all possible now and if you're um, if you love um, precious or semi-precious stones then the amethyst fairy might be one of the first ones in your collection and of course if you love ponds and this time of the year and playing with juicy fibers then this is maybe the one for you or maybe all three are for you we do have subscribers that get all three and um, the the pond dipping you don't have to needle felt it maybe you're doing a mixed textile project right now maybe you're wet felting maybe you're um, sewing all of that is possible and remember I'm back tomorrow um, already at 1 p.m that's our usual um, our usual make along 
um, session on YouTube at 1 p.m. And that is um, to make a mini me. And I will just give you a little, tiny little taster of this. So I'm planning to make my mum as a mini me. My mum sadly passed away five years ago. And I'm actually going to do her as her younger self, because that's how I remember her mostly as uh, in my childhood as a as a young mum. And uh, so I'm going to make her and I will show you how to um, in the first session, I will show you how to make the head, which is um, the Waldorf style head, which uh, involves you can needle felt parts of it. And you'll be pleased to know if you're a, a sworn needle felter and you can't bear not incorporating needle felting then you can needle felt this is not her by the way um this is just a random doll from the um making soft doll book if you've got that that's a good help as well and um and you can needle felt um the the shape underneath the face and you can even needle felt the features onto the face so the face is first and then we are going to do the rest um like dressing them up and giving them accessories on the following Tuesday. So the first two weeks of February are taken up with a mini me. There is a competition. We would love to see your mini me next to either the real person or a photo of the real person. And um, and there will be a competition uh, running for this all throughout February. And then the last two weeks of um, the um, the doll making month in February is about making a larger head and um, what different types of hair and how to um, fasten the hair on and so on. So we will be going back to the boucle as well. And that's all I have got to say today um, during the unwrapping of the uh, subscription boxes February 2021. Remember, we're restreaming this on Wednesday at 7 p.m. That's on the 3rd of February. So if you are watching this anytime in the future, um, then you're not watching this live, but um, you you probably should be able to get all the um, links to the on the comments, and of course we're linking products um, as much as we can afterwards as well. Right, I'm just gonna read the last two, four, six, eight, ten comments. Um, juicy fibers, that is so funny. Yes, I to me they're juicy because they're just like lush, really lush. Um, Stop it, you'll bankrupt me, says El Elspeth. Oh, I wouldn't want to bankrupt you. But you could never be bankrupted if you had lots of, of juicy fibers in your life. It's just bankrupt doesn't, you know, doesn't have to be um, monetary. Um, if you've got lots of fibers in your life, how could you ever be bankrupt? Um, especially if you've got nice stubby friends alongside with you there. Um, and... Um, um, Alicia says I will be getting my eyes checked tomorrow but as my glasses are being held together by tape I think it's necessary you haven't managed to needle felt them together yet <laughs> maybe you need needle felted frames then you can fix them anytime um, we'll have to watch the doll making on Thursday as I have to go to the blood donors that's a worthy excuse Gina so we won't stop you um, from that not that we stop anybody from turning up um, Thank you, Steffi. Can't wait for my Am Amethyst Fairy arrives. Hope to join Alicia soon on the 19th. I'll be watching tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Thank you very much, Karen. Same to you. Um, Fanny says, oh, Alicia, can't you felt... Ah, see, I'm not the only one who's got these crazy ideas. Um, I'm glad. And... Um, uh... <laughs> Sorry, I think there's some banter going on between Alicia and Fanny. I won't get involved. Um, Thank you for a lovely hour. Well, thank you, Ava, for watching. Bye, everyone, says Kim. Thank you, Steffi. See you tomorrow. Um, um, Bridget says, yes, my glasses are still going with clay from the maker. <laughs> so you're actually using maker supplies to fix your glasses. I love it. Um, excellent. Diane says, as a, as a last note, very interesting projects on the horizon. Thank you, Steffi. Well, thank you, everybody. And I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully I will have recovered a little bit. Um, but until then, love you all and leave you now. Bye bye.